So TP53 mutated acute myeloid leukemia and myelodysplastic syndrome patients are very challenging to treat, uh, very high relapse rate, and the survival is very poor. It's uh, usually less than a year. And allogenic uh, hematopoietic stem cell transplantation is often employed in their management. Uh, we did a meta-analysis looking at the outcomes in these patients. So among the acute myeloid leukemia patients, the two-year survival after an allogenic transplant was about 12%. Th that's very low, it's poor, uh, but patients who do not get transplant, all of them are going to die. So, and similarly in myelodysplastic syndrome patients, we saw that three-year overall survival was about 15%, and relapse rates were high, but uh, the transplantation still provides a benefit in these patients. If we don't do a transplant, everybody dies. If we do a transplant, some of these patients uh, will survive. Uh, we don't have data who those patients are. There are some studies looking at uh, the characteristics of those patients like high variable allele frequency of the TP53 over 40%. Uh, TP53 mutation in conjunction with complex or high-risk cytogenetic 17P deletion, what's called a double hit. Those are the patients where outcomes are even poor, but uh, I think allogenic transplant still has a role in management of these patients.